What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm back to talk about Warhammer 40k X Age of Sigmar. So these two games are from Games Workshop, and they deal with essentially the same type of mechanics, like it's two models fighting each other, trying to come out on top by rolling dice and a bunch of nonsense numbers. Where Warhammer 40k is all about the sci-fi grim darkness, Age of Sigmar is more fantasy, but still kind of grim dark when you think about it. Fantasy versus sci-fi. However, there are a ton of similarities between the two, but also a few differences, and there are some things that Age of Sigmar just does outright better than 40k and vice versa. So when you look at Age of Sigmar, you see the Sigmarines. They're called that way because the Stormcast Eternals are the exact same thing as the Space Marines in 40k. One obviously has more, how do I put it, like knightly-esque looking armor, while the other one is more sci-fi and science-based. These two guys are essentially the same army, they play pretty much the same, and GW likes to bolster both of these armies very often. Now, when you look at the Chaos side, it is pretty much identical. The Chaos Gods are the same in 40k as they are in Age of Sigmar. You've got Korn, Nurgle, Zeech, and Slanesh. However, Slanesh definitely has been given a lot more attention, a lot more love, a lot better looking models for Age of Sigmar than 40k. Maybe it's the grim darkness and the sexuality aspect of it that 40k doesn't want to touch base on but look at what like age of sigmar is doing the best i've got a whole video on that and i will link it down in the description so you guys can see it and know just how great age of sigmar has it when it comes to slanesh then we look at the other armies such as the orcs pretty much copy and paste especially with the 40k orc line going more towards like squigs and more I guess less sci-fi based which is kind of the same thing as Age of Sigmar so if you guys want to go towards that new play style that the orc are kind of going towards definitely look at Age of Sigmar for those models and then we come to a bunch of different factions that Age of Sigmar has that 40k doesn't have a um, opposite to so for example, we have the Sylvaneth. The Sylvaneth is an army pretty much based around nature. You've got tree folk, you've got <laughs> goddesses riding on big ass bugs. Like where do you see any aspect of nature in 40k? You don't. And another thing that you don't see in 40k is the whole aquatic side. There are tons of water worlds. You hear stories of space marines fighting in the depths of water against some like Xeno race. But we don't have anything like that in the game, in the tabletop. That's not the case when it comes to Age of Sigmar. They have the Ideneth Deepkin, which are essentially elves, but in the water. And they fight by riding on giant eels, and they've got like squid sorcerers, and it is just the bee's knees. And lastly, the last one that Age of Sigmar has that 40k doesn't really have a counter to, is the Night Haunts. The Night Haunts, you can say, are pretty similar to Chaos. But they're ghosts, apparitions, phantasms. The closest thing that 40k has kind of to that is the chaos line, but there's no ghosts. Like, it's all demons or space marines that have been influenced by the chaos gods. That can greatly be expanded on, and I, I wish GW did this, because I very, very much want a dark Mechanicus army. It's essentially a chaos version of the Skitari, and just the awesome artwork and images and like conversion work that the community has done to try to reenact this army that 40k doesn't have is just amazing. Not just that, but you can do so much when it comes to chaos, because chaos can also infect xeno races, not just humans and space marines. So sh let us see chaos tyranids. Chaos Tau, Chaos Orcs, like, the, the possibilities are endless. And speaking of that, there are a tons of sub-factions that 40k players can't play, such as 
the awesome craft worlds of the Eldar where they're riding massive dinosaurs into battle where they have renounced their technological ways and gone more to a peaceful or simple way of life that's pretty amazing like to have freaking awesome Eldari warriors riding on dinosaurs t-rexes pterodactyls while firing warp lightning at their enemies that's badass that type of like model line is so different than what you'd expect from like you know massive warships dreadnoughts and whatnot it would look cool to see a freaking dinosaur tear apart a space marine uh, just the ideas alone are amazing and if you want to play that army you essentially can over on age of sigmar but not quite that army is none other than the seraphon the seraphon borrow a lot of aspects from many 40k armies like i was saying the eldar but also the temples the pyramids that's also heavily reminiscent of the necrons and their monoliths but the necrons have the, the what are they called the ossiarch bone reapers which are the equivalent of one another for each game type but still that is pretty amazing um, also kind of the lore is very resemblant to that of the necrons where the seraphon are like star gazers like they, they look to the stars and the salon are pretty much the old ones from 40k like there's no <laughs> if like if you look at the lore for the old ones they're basically slam they're fat toad like super powerful psychic warriors of ages old and the slan are just that like the just the parallels the little like nods and callback like it, it all makes sense and potentially many people and many like there are a lot of theories that age of sigmar was the before and 40k is the after or like a parallel dimension or the worlds of age of sigmar are cut off from the universe of 40k by like a warp storm or something like that there's a lot of theories saying that the emperor of mankind is maybe um sigmar you know so there's a lot of things that people have been theorizing and just speculating and some of it fits some of it doesn't but all in all it's it's really fun to just sit down and you know make things click in your head and that's what i got for this video for today let me know your thoughts below let me know if you play both of these game types let me know which one you prefer um i for one obviously we've been playing warhammer 40k the longest time uh recently we did get into age of sigmar i've got a night hunt army and i'm thinking of maybe starting the hideneth deepkin or the sylvaneth the seraphon look pretty cool too like there's a lot of awesome models in age of sigmar and um if you guys have never decided to even take a look at that whole other portion of games workshop definitely do because like the mounts are beautiful <laughs> And uh, just the conversions ideas that you can do between the two are amazing. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts below. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. As always, thank you for listening. And if you like what we do here at One Mind Syndicate, you can always support us by heading on over to Patreon, where a simple dollar will help us do just that. If not, like, subscribe, comment down below, or just you watching the video was more than enough for me. Thanks again guys, this has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'm signing out.